Now we're going to illustrate the nature of univariate and bivariate data. So first is we're going to talk about the variables. What are the variables? It is an attribute or characteristic that may take more than one value which can either be measured or classified. Just like in algebra, the variables are x, y, are, are represented by x and y and x could be any number in the any number so the set solution set so data that involve one variable is called univariate data and univariate data are often described using the measures of central tendency mean median mode and average with also variations and other descriptive statistics here are examples of univariate data example number one the department of education recorded the number of infected COVID-19 cases from April 14 to May 21, 2020 in the Philippines. The variable involved is the number of infected cases. To identify the, the variable involved, it's you're going to get what are they looking for. You're, you're going to, to identify what are they looking for, what they are asking. So in this one, the example number one, the Department of Health is asking for the number of infected cases. So the number of infected cases is the variable because that's what the Department of Education is looking for. So the variable is the number of inf infected cases. So it's a univariate data because there's only one variable which is the number of infected cases. The second example is the World Health Organization or WHO summarized the number of COVID-19 case recoveries around the world. So what is the World Health Organization is studying or what is the variable that they are trying to, uh, to synthesize or summarize? It is the number of COVID-19 recoveries. So co number of COVID-19 recoveries therefore is the variable and it is univariate because there's only one variable. So how what happened if there are two variables? How would it look like? So this R, ang tawag naman doon sa may mga data, may two variables, ang tawag doon is bivariate data. The statistical procedures used to determine and describe the relationship between these two variables is called the correlation analysis. So you're going to get the relationship between those two variables, that's why it's called correlation. So there are two variables, bivariate data, and, there, and then the statistics that you're going to use are usually correlation analysis. So later on, you're going to, to know them. So example, uh, examples of this are in the Yaba City public market, a consumer observed that fewer is the supply of vegetables, the higher the prices gets. So the fewer is the supply, the higher the prices get. So what are the two things he compared? He he asked for ano yung mga data na hinanap niya as a kinumpare niya. The first one are the supply of the veg the veg supply of vegetables, and the second one is saan niya kinumpare yung supply. It can compare niya sa price. Therefore, the variables are the supply and the price of the vegetables. So those are the variables. There are two variables, so therefore, it's bivariate data. The next is the, the Quezon Provincial Government gave emphasis that limiting the number of household members going outside to purchase purchase essential goods will help decrease the rate of COVID-19 infection in the province. So, the, what are the two data na kinunong pair? The first na kinuha niyang data is the number of household members going outside to purchase essential goods. So, that th that is the first one. Saan niya kinunong pair yung mga number of households na lumalabas? Household member na lumalabas, kinumpare niya sa rate of COVID-19 infection. So, the number of household members who are going outside and the rate of COVID-19 infection. So, those are the two variables na, na nirelate niya sa isa't isa. So, therefore, this is a bivariate data because there are two variables. Next is, we're going to determine the number of variables involved in the following situation. So, for us to determine, kailangan natin malaman kung which are the variables first in order for us to know if it is a univariate or bivariate 
or if there are only one or two variables. So the situation number one, see Mrs. Mr. Gonzalez that will donate face mask to the people in his barangay. He asks a health worker to survey the number of family members living in each house on his barangay. So anong tinanong niya? Anong hinanap niya? Ang hinanap niya or sinurvey niya is the number of family members. So usually it starts with the number. The number of family members. Yung mga pwedeng, ang variables kasi are pwede yung mga numbers nila. Pwede yung value nila is iba-iba. So pwede ang number of family members is isa lang. Pwede na family number or the number of the family members is dalawa, tatlo, apat, so on and so forth. So ang hinanap niya lang dito is the number of family members. Hindi niya kinorelate. Hindi niya nirelate doon sa number ng face mask. Kasi ang hinanap niya lang muna is the number of family members. So, it is only, there's only one variable which means it's a univariate data. So, next, to properly compensate an employee, the administrative administrative aid records the number of hours their employees are working and their respected take-home pay. So, ano yung record niya? Ang first na record niya is the number of hours. So, the number of hours their employees are working. So, that's the one. Saan niya kinorelate yun? Or, ano pa ang hinanap niya? It's their take-home pay. So, ibig sabihin, there are two variables. Therefore, it is a bivariate data. Next, a school nurse finds out the number of hours of sleep. So, first one, the number of hours. Kasi may the number na. So, usually, yun siya ang first variable. And their weight in kilograms. So, the second one is their weight. So, dalawang hinanap niya the number of hours of sleep and their weight. So, there are two. Number four, a doctor's secretary will record the number of minutes a patient spends for a medical checkup. So, na-record niya lang is the number of minutes. So, the number of minutes a patient spends for medical checkup. So, therefore, there's only one variable. Number five, a nursing student investigates the number of hours of sleep of 20 patients and their red blood cells count. So, ano yung dalawang data na hinanap niya or kinuha niya? It's the number of hours. The first one is the number of hours of sleep. And the second one is their red blood cells count. So, there are two, which means it's a bivariate variable or data. So that's how you're going to illustrate the nature of univariate and variate data. Thank you.